Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to make a very pretty pink and feminine soap using this fragrance, Peony, from Crafter's Choice. And I'm not a big floral fan, but this is beautiful. It's just light and lovely and blossomy and we're coming into spring as I'm making this soap. and. Uh, I absolutely love peony blossoms. I think they're breathtaking. I actually prefer them to roses. I think they're fabulous. So anyway, peony is the fragrance, and so that's kind of my color spring board, and I'm gonna be using this uh, French silk stocking color. I just want the very faintest, palest pink um, for I'm going to be piping some rosette type I don't, I'm not going to take the time to do peony blossoms, although I've seen um, people do it. It's amazing. I'm going to do my rosettes uh, using this 1M Wilton tip to do uh, my peonies on top of my soap. And for color accent, I'll be using from Nurture Soap this Shimmer Gold Mica. Um, because it's so light and sparkly and pretty, and I thought it would just kind of go along with it. So I may... Um, use this round tip to do some dollops. I'm not sure yet. This is a number 12 Wilton. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm kind of playing it by ear here, but I just want it to be really sort of just beautiful and lovely. So that is kind of the springboard for all of this. I'm just going to use distilled water for my liquid portion with um, Tussa Silk Fibers, and um, I may put a little coconut milk powder in there just to add some richness to the lather. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to get everything pulled together and we will come back and make some spring blossomy peony soap. So I've got all my prep work done. Uh, what I've got going on in here are my melted butters and my liquid oils and uh, the additives. I have organic colloidal oats, kale and clay, and coconut milk powder. So that's what's going on in here. And I did decide to use, it's got a little dark color here, um, my olive oil portion, I used a organic calendula infused olive oil in this. Um, I just have some to use up and it smells wonderful and I thought it just kind of went along with the peony being a flower and calendula, flower, I don't know, it kind of went with it. And um, so I put that in here for my olive oil portion. To my lye solution, I added um, about a teaspoon of titanium dioxide. Uh, and this has tussle silk fibers and sodium lactate. And the reason I did that is because the peony fragrance says that it discolors to yellow. And, um, and so the fragrance, I uh, did some research on the fragrance, just double checked the um, usage rate and some reviews on it. And some people said it lost its scent after cure time. So what I added was a just a little bit, like just a couple ounces of a sugared peach to the peony. So this is going to be a sugared peach peony scent. And that does discolor to tan. So the yellow, the tan, that's my fragrance work up here because I wanted the scent to stick around. So all that being said, I put some titanium dioxide in here because I really want, um, you know, the colors to stay on the light side. I don't want too much discoloration going on. So... I will hand stir this to emulsion. Ooh, we're pretty full. And then we'll split off for our colors and we'll add the fragrance after we get everything split off. I made an extra big batch today because I have some little heart embeds that I need to fill for a different batch of soap. So um, that's why this container is massively full here. Wow. We're coming along, that's good. Just gotta get emulsion and we'll split off for our beautiful colors. And this fragrance does smell fantastic. Um, and the sugared peach just sort of, I don't know, brought a layer of sweetness to the floral that I'm, I'm kind of liking the combo.
think what I'll do is I'm going to run my stick blender through here because these are nice and fluid. They seem to be behaving perfectly well. I'm not having any acceleration yet, so let's just run a stick blender through here. I'm going to go lightest to darkest on the stick blender. it's been 24 hours I did put a blanket over this and insulate it and let it go through gel phase last night so let's get this beauty out of the mold and see what we've got going on the inside Look at this, we've got some glycerin rivers going on, which I think are kind of cool. But uh, yeah, it happens sometimes. So 
I used um, a full water volume in this and with the titanium dioxide, I think that is why I have glycerin rivers. Let's keep going here. We do have some glycerin rivers, but I think it looks beautiful. I'm very happy with the inside of these. I think it just adds a little something. And the um, gold mica is very muted yellow. And this does have a yellowy overtone from the fragrance. I didn't add that much TD, but I'm happy. I think they look great.